Hi, my name is Darshan and I'm an online tutor of math and physics. Uh, this is a really short video, but really powerful video because we are going to talk about the differences between conservative force, conservative forces, conservative forces, and I don't want to write that again. I'm going to make a replica of it and non-conservative forces, non non-conservative forces okay all right let's start uh, let's start with the definition first conservative forces are all the forces where the work done is only dependent is only dependent on on initial and the final positions position and not the path taken I'll explain okay and non-conservative forces, you might have figured the exact opposite of it. Work done is only, again, I'm going to take a copy of this. Okay, work done, that is, work done is only dependent on the path taken, path taken, and not the initial and final positions right for example gravity now uh, we, we just talked about in the last video what is the gravitational potential energy for example so gravitational potential energy uh, obviously work done and energy are related I will just talk about in the next video but at the moment you can clearly see that a person who is over here and let's say who is over here and let's say there are two ways to go from here to here maybe like this or maybe there's a way from here. This is level one and this is level two. Now, whether the person goes from this level to this level by this path or this path, the height is not going to change, right? The level two height is not going to change. And can you remind me what is the formula for gravitational potential energy? Is that MGH? Do you see any path involved? No, unless they end at the same height, the path involved is same. So the work done is not dependent on whether you go from here or here. It's just initial and the final position. If you're ending at on level two, if you're starting on level one, the work done is going to be same. Doesn't matter what what path you choose, right? So this is the these are the these are the conservative forces. And remember that there are only a handful of conservative forces which we should remember. For example, the first conservative force which we have is the gravitational force gravitational force the second conservative force which we have is the spring force the third conservative force is electrostatic force not that it will be helpful for us uh, obviously in the current uh, uh, you know this uh, this particular course uh, electrostatic force will not electrostatic force will not be helpful for we will not cover this but yeah electrostatic force is also a type of conservative force so gravitational and spring are the two things which will be used extensively. Uh, on the other hand, what a non-conservative force? Every other force which you can think of is a non-conservative. For example, tension. For example, friction. For example, air resistance. Air resistance. For example, the work done by the agent, you know, the push and pull which I am doing, which the person is doing. Uh, the normal reaction and so on and so forth these are all dependent on path and it makes perfect sense right for example uh, uh, let's let me take another example to explain why it's dependent on path you know the right sides uh, let's say you move from a to b using these two ways so a to b one is the shorter way and one is obviously the longer way Assume that the friction force, you know, the mu, the normal reaction in both the cases is the same. So the friction force is same. And what is the work done? Work done is F dot D. So don't you think that 
uh, at every point at every point the more the distance which i am covering more is the friction which is acting at a greater distance so obviously the work done for a longer path is going to be more in the friction than that in the case of a to b it absolutely makes sense right let's say there is another force which is acting on it let's say i i am the one who is uh, pulling the block and i'm pulling the block like this maybe i took one as 10 meter and one path as 20 meter so obviously the one which is 20 meter is going to be more than that of 10 because it's dependent on path it's not just dependent on the initial and final position it's not actually dependent so non-conservative forces are the forces which are not dependent on the initial and the final position but they are dependent on the path with which you are taking right so this, this this difference is really important for competitive exams for school everything because they are going to ask maybe sometimes some theoretical questions on just these forces yeah i hope this makes sense in the next video we'll talk about some questions based uh, in fact i think we have, we have some theorems pending and then we are going to talk about some questions i'll see you in the next video Bye bye